If you've ever wanted to use your DSLR, mirrorless camera, or camcorder as a webcam on your computer, then this is what you need. Domo Origato, Mr. Elgato. <laughs> this is the CamLink 4K. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing here. So what this, of course, is going to allow us to do is use any camera with an HDMI output and then plug this unit in to our computer via, in this case, USB 3, and then take the output of our camera and we could record directly to our computer hard drive. We could use it with things like OBS. You can stream with a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. We're gonna use it with the a Panasonic Lumix uh, G7. There's the box. Take a look over that if you want. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Inner box there. Pop it open. There it is. So download the game capture software, it says. Although I don't think we necessarily have to if we're using it with OBS or Streamlabs OBS, but that is what's in uh, the box here. So there's a closer look at the unit, the CamLink 4K, HDMI input from our camera or other source, of course. Plugs into your computer via USB. Also comes with this extender cable for your USB 3, so this won't have to be plugged directly into your computer. Uh, this, of course, can help prevent breaking the actual unit. Of course, your safety information and a, and a sticker there. Here we have the Panasonic Lumix G7. This camera will shoot 4K at up to 30 frames per second. The cam link will also do 1080p at up to 60 frames per second. So basic connection is you want the HDMI out of your camera, whatever it happens to be. Now this is a micro HDMI. You might have mini HDMI. And this cable did not come with the cam link. That will be a separate purchase or it might come with your camera. All right. Of course, the other end is full HDMI. Obviously goes into the cam link, and then the cam link goes into your computer, preferably a USB three port. Before we connect the cam link 4K to our computer, you might wanna head here to elgato.com slash gaming slash downloads. I'll have this in the description below, and you can scroll down here, choose software for Mac or Windows. Here's the game capture for Windows, which they suggest you install. I actually have it installed right here, but we're going to test this with OBS, which is completely free, or you could use Streamlabs OBS as well, but they have other tools here that you might want to uh, try out as well. Just check out this site. Again, link will be in the description below. Here we are at the computer. Let's go ahead and plug in our CamLink 4K. I already have the camera plugged in, our Lumix G7. Just plug in the CamLink to the uh, computer there. If you look here, setting up device, cam link 4K. So you might have to wait just a second or so. And there we go, device is ready. So now I'm gonna pull up OBS. We could use Streamlabs OBS, or we could use the game capture. I'm actually using Streamlabs OBS to record this right now. But once we're here in, in OBS, we should be able to choose that as an input or of course in the, in the game capture. But of course I need to turn on the camera, right? I already have it connected. Let me go ahead and turn on the camera there. So we have input and come in here to my sources. I'm gonna add, and I could do say a video capture device. And right there, it shows my cam link. That's the only webcam I have uh, uh, selected. We can see it's working there. I move the camera, get the change there on screen and choose you know, whatever settings you want in here. And of course, whatever settings on your camera. Again, the, the Lumix here can do 4K. The CamLink 4K can also obviously uh, record up to 4K, but we're just setting it up, the basic setup uh, right there. So of course, this is, a, this is a huge image. I'm gonna readjust this size here. Let's just pull it way down because it's a 4K image coming out of uh, the camera there. There we go. So as you can see right now, we have all of these icons right here in in our uh, capture here. You may or may not want that. Now this depends on your camera, this is very important. You want to get a clean feed out of your camera, at least most of the time, right? So what you might need to do 
is head into your settings. This is again is going to depend on the exact camera. Then you might have to turn off some of that stuff in there on the uh, display. Now the exact settings you choose here will of course depend on your camera and how you turn off your, your monitor there, what's being output through HDMI. Here on our Lumix G7, a quick way is to use your display button. That takes most things away there. Then we can use our function five button there and click it a couple of times. Now we have a clean feed going right into, in this case, OBS, all right? So then of course we can adjust the camera if we want, or it can be the full, you know, the full frame. We can switch our different, our different sources here in OBS. This is not gonna be a tutorial about OBS. We already have something like that, uh, something like that out there. But now you can use your DSLR, your mirrorless camera, your good quality camcorder, just like you would a webcam. And we could record right here in, uh, in OBS. All right, so let's close down OBS here. Again, we could use Streamlabs, uh, which I'm using to record this right now. Let's open up the game capture just real quick if you would prefer to uh, to use this. We could of course use game capture. I'm not gonna go through all of this here. Same stuff applies. As you can see, we're using our Cam Link 4K. Right now I have my camera set at uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. I can of course change that up to say 60 frames per second or with the 4K up to 30 frames per second. You might wanna use this, you might wanna use uh, OBS or Streamlabs, just depends, but it works. Uh, just like uh, anything else. You can also use your default camera app on your computer. Same exact stuff, okay? Using your good camera, a quality camera, just like you would a, a webcam. That is the CamLink 4K, a pretty straightforward device that will allow you to unleash the power of your good quality camera, the camera you're used to using, and use that directly with your computer, either through OBS, Streamlabs OBS, or the included Elgato software that you can, of course, uh, download. All of those links will be in the description below, as well as a link to Amazon for the Cam Link 4K. Also, you might want to consider getting a power adapter for your camera if you don't have one. I already have a video showing a power adapter that you can get for our Panasonic Lumix G7. So go check that out as well. Domo Origato, Mr. Elgato, the Cam Link 4K is pretty awesome.